Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Andrea. Hey there, Heartbeat Troy. Hey, Heartbeat Aaliyah. Heartbeat Anita. Heartbeat Carolyn. Good morning. Good morning, good morning to you guys. It is Wednesday, the middle of the week. We've made it. <laughs> hey there, Heartbeat Rachelle. Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Dalitha. Good morning, good morning to you guys. Harvey Ruby, hey there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's our word for today? Wonderful Wednesday, wondrous Wednesday, what is it? Hey there, Harvey Carolyn. Harvey Juanita, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am excited about today because God is just so amazing. Love it. Walking in New Mercies Wednesday. I love it. I love it. I love it. God is just so amazing. Hey there, heartbeat Elaine and heartbeat Donna. Wonderful Wednesday. Love it. Love it. Love it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts by God Wants Me Whole. And today your daily dosage is all things new. And so you know how sometimes, you know, you just get tired of the same old rigmarole. You know, you want to change in your life. And, and God is saying that he makes all things new. So I want you to get excited about it, knowing that where you are today, today that it's temporal, it's going to change. Not it has to, it's going to change because Jesus is still on the throne. Jesus is still the Messiah. Jesus is still King of Kings. He's still Lord of Lords. And so know that every day that you wake up, every day that you receive brand new mercies, that it is another opportunity. It is another chance for God to show his glory in your life. And so hold on, don't give up, stay in the race. I don't care what it looks like, you keep pushing forward. And so Revelation 21, 5 in the easy reading version says this, the one who was sitting on the throne said, look, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this because these words are true and can be trusted. What am I saying to you on this morning? Take the word of God, meditate on it and receive it for your life. He said, look, like check this thing out. Do you see what's happening? He said, write it down, write this because these words are true and can be trusted. The one on the throne said to me, it is finished. Did you hear what I just said? It is is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I will give free water from the spring of the water of life to anyone who is thirsty. That means anyone who makes a decision that, you know what, I'm going to follow what God has said for my life. No matter what it looks like, no matter how many storms I've got to go through, I'm going to follow what he said because he all he said, it is finished. You know, I like to say he's the author and finisher of our faith. Remember some months ago, I told you at some point in your life, you're going to have to put the pen down and go with the story that's already been written for you because he said it is finished and now he's just watching you live out what he's already done. So he's looking at your life in reverse. And so although you see right now where it doesn't look good, God is saying, no, I'm the author and finisher of your faith. Just hold on that there is a happy dance that's going to take place at the end, that this book gets better. Just keep, just keep living. Live to the next chapter so that you can see that the book gets better. He says this. He says, all those who win the victory will receive all this. He says, and I will be their God and they will be my children. I want to read it to you in the Passion Translation and then I'm going to read it in a message because you've got to get this. I don't know who this is for on this morning that you might feel like you want to throw in the towel. You might feel like nothing is going to get better in my life. I'm here to tell you that better is coming. It says this in the Passion Translation. And God enthroned spoke to me and said, Consider this. So what am I saying to you? Consider what I'm about to say. Consider what the word of God is saying to you. Consider this in comparison to where you are right now. Consider this in comparison to whatever that thought is that's going on in your mind that's trying to get you to quit. Consider this. 
I'm making everything to be new and fresh. What does that mean? That means that all of the broken pieces that are in your life, he's getting ready to just fix it. He's getting ready to make it new. And so if you're having emotional issues, he's getting ready to take that broken heart. He's getting ready to take that stony heart. He's getting ready to make it new. He's getting ready to replace it with a new one. Things just got better for you. You got up on the right day. You logged on to Facebook on the right day because God's got a message for you that all things are about to become new in your life. It's going to amaze you the doors that you're about to walk through. It's going to amaze you the people that are about to come into your life. He said, I'm about to make all things new for you. Baby girl, I just need you to hold on just a little while longer. Brother man, it's getting better. Just hang in there. Just don't give up. It says this, I am making everything to be new and fresh right down at once all that I have told you. And so what I need you to do right now is press rewind on all the things that God told you. If he told you you were going to be out of debt, oh, you're going to be out of debt. If he told you he was going to heal your body, oh, he's about to heal your body. If he told you that your kids are coming back home, oh, you about to have a prodigal moment. If he told you to start that business, you better start that business. Don't worry about if you started the business and it don't look like what God said. He said rewind, press rewind and remember what I told you all the things that I told you. He said, because each word that I told you is trustworthy. Glory to God. It's dependable. Glory to God. You can lean up against it. You can take that to the bank. Then he said to me, it has been accomplished. What does that mean? He don't need you to put your hands in it. He don't need you to pick the pen up. If he said that it's done, it's done. If he said that it's finished, it's finished. If he said that it's accomplished, it is accomplished. He says, for I am the olive and I am the top. This is in, in Greek and Hebrew. It says the beginning, the beginning and the end. I will give water to all who are thirsty as my gracious gift, they will continually drink from the fountain of living water. Check this. He said that once I make this thing new, once I make it fresh, he said you will continuously drink from this fountain, which means what? I'm not going back to the past. I ain't going back to those broken days. He says, I'm about to make all things new. He says the conquering one will inherit these gifts from me. I will continue to be their God and they will continue being my children for me. What is he saying? I've never left you. It might look like it, but that means I'm just working out the scenes in the background. You can't see what I'm doing. You can't feel what I'm doing, but oh my God, I'm doing a whole lot in the background. Message says this, and then we're going to go. It says the enthroned continued. Look, I'm making everything new. Write it all down. I'm saying this in all of these translations because you have got to get this thing. Write it all down. Each word dependable and accurate. Then he said, it happened. <laughs> Glory to God. You see that it happened like the past. It already happened. He says this. I'm A to Z. I'm all that is what he's trying to tell us. He says, I'm the beginning. Then he said this, said it this way. He said, I'm the conclusion. Like, like there's nothing in between. I'm A to Z. He said, I'm the beginning. I'm the conclusion. He said, from water of life well, I give freely to the thirsty. Conquerors in her inherit all this. I'll be good to them. They'll be sons and daughters to me. But here's something that I want to throw in there just in case you're thinking about not doing what God says. Verse 8 says this, before the rest, the feckless and faithless, the de 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 degenerate, the murderers, the sex peddlers, the sorcerers, the idolaters. He said in all those lies, for them is late fire brimstone, second death. What am I saying to you? I think that you ought to take verses 5 through seven and leave verse eight alone. Amen. I think that you need to stick with the well that never runs out. So what am I saying to you? Stay in the race because God is about to make all things new. He said he's A to Z. He's the alpha and omega. He's the beginning and the end. He is the beginning and the conclusion. He's broken it down however you understand it. He says, I am that I am. I am that way maker. I am that lifesaver. I am that peace giver. I am that love giver. He says, I am. He said, and I'm about to make all things new in your life. So I know it might look rough now, right now. I might, I know it might not feel good right now, but I'm going to need you to hang on in there because I'm about to make all things new in your life. You're about to get a do-over. You're about to get a makeover. You're about to start all over again. He says, I'm about to make things all, all of them new. Glory to God. That thing just done something to my spirit. He's a 
about to make all things new. So Harvey Nation, hang in there because he's about to make all things new for you. Hey, listen, that is your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you better run on over there and do so because at any time you can go back and listen to all of these dosages all at one time. I'm telling you, if you overdose on them, that is okay. It's going to make you a better Christian. I'm telling you, if you have not followed on the other social media platforms, Forms, do so. It's God Wants Me Whole. Also, make sure you check out the website at GodWantsMeWhole.org. Come on and say it with me. You know how we ended. Say, God wants me whole. And I'm getting whole by the minute. I love you guys a bunch. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow morning at 730. Go on out there and experience all this newness that God has for you. I love you.